It's the Joel Shit Show featuring Joel Shit. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. So, yesterday was a really exciting day because at Yahoo today is going to be this uh, big cookie thing. Basically, I don't know how far wide the company it is. It might just be might just be a car going by, it might be central editorial, it might be just my editing team, it might be the whole marketing department, I don't know. But on Monday, today, at noon, everyone's going to get together and exchange cookies. You don't have to make cookies, you can go to the store and buy cookies. Not so crazy about that, but you know, it's not my rules. Everyone puts out their things that they brought in with a recipe for whatever it was, unless of course that recipe is go to Costco, wait in line for two hours, walk out the door, go back inside, and remember to pay. You've seen it all. Nobody says good morning to you when you walk around with the camera. They're all freaked out that you're going to report them to Google or something. You ever think about when you use Google Maps and you use Street View so you can actually see what you're looking for and what it looks like? Just think, if the people in that area were as stuck up as you, there wouldn't be a picture to look at. So get over yourself. It's okay. It's okay for people to walk around with cameras. There's already cameras everywhere anyway. You might as well enjoy the cameras that you know about. Since there's two more for everyone you see that you don't know about. So anyway, that's how the cookie exchange works, right down to the cameras. So, last night I went to the Yahoo campus and dropped off my coffee toffee with one of the other senior editors. Well, not other senior editors, because I'm not a senior editor, but with one of the senior editors. The one that trained me. They're all good, but she's extra good. What a person. So, I'm assuming, based on what she said, that she's going to collect cookies from everyone for me, but I don't really care. I don't really need them, and then I'd have to go back out and get them, but I'm sure that's probably what's going to happen, so I'll probably have another episode where I'm like, yep, went to the Yahoo campus last night. I'll tell you, when you take your, your employee ID to make the parking lot arm go up, and it goes up because you work for them, and you park your car and you get out, you just can't help but have a big smile on your face. Because it means you work for Yahoo, bitch. You work for Yahoo. And that's the shit right there. So, something to look forward to if things at Stanford don't work out or things work out better at Yahoo than they do at Stanford. However, at some point, I'm going to have to decide. Hopefully. If I fail at both, I guess that would mean I just spread myself too thin. Like a giant sheet of coffee toffee with gaps in it. One never knows. So, let's see. That was the big news. We didn't get the Raider game here against the Redskins because it was blacked out. That happens all the time. But I hear Bruce Gretkowski got hurt and Jamarcus Russell came in. And, you know, one was 10 of 18, one was 10 of 16. So, percentage-wise, not bad. Of course, Jamarcus Russell threw an interception. No Jamarcus Russell game is complete without his throwing an interception, of course. But my favorite series, they got down to the 28, and they, I don't know, they are down 21-13, I don't know. I didn't see the game, but the game was still pretty close. It was not out of hand yet. So what happens? First down and 10 at the 28, I don't know, I think he got sacked 7 yards. 
So it's second and 17 to 35. Then false start. So it's like second and 22 at the 40. And then they complete a pass, but there's like a penalty or something. Something happens that causes it to be third and 35 at their own 47. And then on third and 35, they complete a pass that almost gets them into field goal range, but there's another penalty or something. So they throw another pass and it's incomplete. There's obviously pieces missing from the story. The point is, it was 4th and 35 from their own 47. So then what happens? Shane Leckler punts it into the end zone. So that means Washington gets the ball at their own 20, which means that entire possession, they only gained 8 yards out of it. They could have thrown an interception, which Jamarcus Russell's really good at. 8 yards downfield. They could have fumbled the ball. They could have handed it to a linebacker and said, hey, here, you can have this, just run out of bounds at the 19. And they would have gained a yard, and they wouldn't have taken as much time off the clock. Oops. Oh, well. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web at joelshitshow.com. Email joel at joelshitshow.com.